Hi everyone, so I finally heard from solicitors. I think it's going to be one to two weeks and hopefully we will be completed. So now I'm having a mad panic and trying to clear the bedrooms, the wardrobes, the kids' wardrobes to encapsulate into a small few items. And this I thought would be easy <laughs> and it's so not easy. Like, I can't even tell you how hard it is not to cling on to things that you think are important to you, but they're probably not. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it very, very difficult to shrink things down into motorhome size items. So yeah, it's taken me and Sam hours this morning to go through our wardrobes. And this is pretty much the result. Piles and piles of clothes. Charity shops. It's charity shop nightmare. They're going to hate us. And out here, more stuff to sort and deal with. Isabella's bedroom, looking horrific. Ewan's bedroom, not even started in there yet, but how are we going to even get rid of all this stuff, I don't know. But yeah, so that's going to be this week's task. And we've still got the loft to do. So wish me luck, I'm going to need it. So, tucked up in bed last night in this house very weird bought this house back in 2006 i think it was completely off grid not been built and yeah it's got a lot of memories so it's going to feel really weird leaving but it feels like it's time i am absolutely shattered it's been a really really hectic few days weeks even actually trying to get the sale to go through Lots of dramas with the estate agents, sorry, not estate agents, sisters, that's how tired I am. And yeah, um, last night now in the house because tomorrow night we're going to sleep in the motorhome, Bessie, the old one. And then hopefully on Friday we will be meeting the new owners of the house, giving them the keys. And then Saturday or Sunday, possibly Monday, we'll be going to get the new motorhome, depending on when the funds are cleared in our account but yeah um we've been really quiet i know not doing anything youtubey but it's been crazy busy uh, i'm sat in bed watching a youtube some um who am i watching jody and joe this is new i've not seen these two before they're doing a van conversion so i've been watching them install a chinese diesel heater which actually we have just ordered a diesel heater but we ordered some German one. Sam knows more about that. I'm not sure about that. Um, and I, um, my eyes are watering. And my eyes are bleeding. And the reason being is because in my ensuite bathroom, I'm going to miss that, I've had to spray the shower with that, you know, the mould and mildew stuff. Um, <laughs> I'll leave it overnight because tomorrow I'm going to be cleaning like I don't know why I do this but I'm going to be cleaning the house very top to bottom so yeah I've got very watery eyes which doesn't help with the tired look in my eyes at the moment and yeah that's where we're up to so fingers crossed last night in the house motor home tomorrow night and then head off to go and buy the new one in a few days speak to you soon hello well Finally, what a week it's been. We have been up and down the stairs a million times and we've completely cleared the entire house. So this big transition into uh, going full-time traveling is uh, complete. We just found out that the solicitor has actually put the money across. So this is the main thing, basically, in a nutshell, so that we can purchase our other van um, and then start beginning the journey, basically the open-ended journey to travel around, see stuff, but the end goal being that we are going to um, find somewhere else to live, maybe like a plot, and I'll build my own sort of eco house and be off-grid. It's taken endless research to do it, which is great, but I've met also met lots of people on the road um, who do similar, and we're going to go and visit a few full-time van people, 
and uh, see see their setup, see how they go. And we met a lot of them at the Hef Festival, which is in January again in Wales. So there's people come from all over Europe for that one. It's absolutely great. But this feels quite surreal, really, to sort of be in there. This was, I'll turn the camera around, this was our bedroom, kids' rooms, you know, daughter's bedroom. It's bizarre because I'm literally walking around the house completely empty, not a stitch. The new buyers are coming at 1pm, which is in about 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, we've been here for over 10 years. So it's a huge decision to, to make, but I feel good. I feel good about it, you know. We get the van we want, the Adria Matrix. So it's, it's taken a long time to even find that van, but we have done it. We have done it. I feel I look like I've been sleeping rough. And Bex has been like a whirlwind as well. Kids are happy enough, but yeah, we'll, uh, Onwards and upwards, this has been a journey. It's taken nine months to sort the conveyancing out. It's taken a couple of weeks to actually be walking out that door in 10 minutes and uh, goodbye Vienna to the house. Um, but it's been great. It's been a, it's all been part of the experience basically. So yeah, that's uh, one last look out onto our um, street, but yeah. I shall uh, hopefully see some of you and meet some of you on the road and we'll, uh, we'll keep documenting it and sticking it on YouTube and Instagram and you know people can see where we're at we can keep in contact with friends and family and wow what a journey it's not even started yet so I'll uh, catch up with you all again at some point let you know where we ended up we get the van the main thing is to get that van either today tomorrow turn that key that's always been the goal in my mind is to get the van and then we can start chilling and loading it up and getting ready for our on-road journey. So I shall speak to you all later on. All right, see you in a while. So it's just about to uh, chuck it down here, but we are just getting the stuff out of our old motorhome. We'll move back and you can sort of see it. That's, uh, you see it there? That's Bessie, our drifter. 1998 van she's done as well for two years she's traveling about in it um luckily we've been able to get to rebecca's mum and dad's and we've got this sort of stuff from the house um some of it is going to go into the new motor home and then other stuff we don't know we've got so much like surplus stuff a lot's gone into storage um there is other stuff inside but yeah slowly but surely somehow some way um my friend just rang me and said to me so that's it you're homeless now are you and i said no we're not we're houseless not homeless so it's going to become our little motto on that but yeah we'll just keep sorting bessie out just so well this van just so we've got somewhere to sleep tonight and then tomorrow we'll get up and we'll head up to Durham to pick up the Matrix. And then I shall carry on uh, tomorrow loading up basically the stuff that we're actually going to live in. Um, so it is an adventure. It's tiring. It's like it's not all hit home at the minute. It's been 100 miles an hour staying up till early hours of the morning. But it's been worth it. This is what it takes to get away from the rat race and start living free basically. Right, I'm going to carry on, speak to you later. Well, this is yeah. the van, it's here, we finally got it, do a little tour of it shall we? Yeah, finally got there in the end, an epic amount of kit that's taken to uh... Yeah, so we're just it. on mum and dad's driveway at the minute. Um, yeah, this is this it's is. It's got it. a satellite dish. Oh my god, we we are like Jodrell Bank, <laughs> honestly, know. aren't we? It's a good job it comes down when you start the ignition because uh, we forgot the other day. Yeah, we forgot, and then huh, it's a good job it comes down automatically, otherwise we'd be in trouble. So we'll go in. So I'm open the door. I'll open the door. Voila. 
little boudoir to keep us uh, snug yeah. on the road. There we go. There's the front. We've got mm -hmm. a big fridge as well. Big fridge. Get stuff in. Our other one was about this big. Yeah. It was a nightmare. This is our bed up the top here, which drops down. Hopefully, we're not going to have any motor problems with it. Bed's up there. Electric bed. And the, uh, that goes into the uh, kids' bedroom. Bit of a mess, room. but yeah. standard children's bedroom. And we're not having to faff making beds like we did in the other one all the time. We're doing like doing an assault course every day. <laughs> but they all seem quite happy. Did you open this door? Yeah. That closes off then. Shower here. This side and then toilet bathroom. We yep. did find out though the hard way that the plug hole was leaking. First time we turned the shower on, there was a big river run across the floor and <gasps> it was doomed. So luckily I was able to take the drawer out and fix it. Get my hand under and fix it with a arrow die. Yeah. So it's super duper. Oh yeah, there's the bed. Comes down up there. Press the button, Sam. Let's see it in action. The bed. Just a little bit. It's quite slow. Oh yeah, comes all the way we'll down. We'll take it all the way down because we do have to move some cushions and yeah, no making up of the beds. Things, yeah. Winner. It does come down to like here, so up it goes. Give it a little bit, bit of, a bit of support. Yeah. <laughs> still don't know what everything means on this control panel yet. Yeah, not fully. You turn the hot water on and the electric, a few different modes and. But we'll work it all out, we'll read some instructions, but we've finally got our Blue Etty box now as well, so... Yeah. We actually haven't read any instructions on that neither yet. Not even opened the solar panel packs, but we shall have power. So... Power off grid. Power off grid. So we're not going to struggle, but I guess we'll just learn on the road. Um, condense a bit of the kit. Should we have a look at the garage? Oh, God. The garage of doom. Yeah. It is in order, but... We've got some bags. Oh god. Water baby Rebecca is uh, gonna be kayaking across every lake. That is that's shocking. Across. No so wonder we're not. this is order. Kind <laughs> of order. At least it's on both sides anyway, so yeah. we can get in and out of it. We need to reorganise that. It's just basically been thrown in for now, hasn't it? But it's uh yeah. powerful. Drives like a dream. For now. <laughs> See if I can get a better video in a bit. So we're just on mum and dad's drive at the minute. But yeah, here's the beast. Chuffed. 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 So we are off to the Weybridge. I'm slightly anxious considering the amount of stuff that's in our boot. That we are gonna be well overweight. So let's see what it's gonna be. So we're on the Weybridge. Well. Oh my god, we can't tell whether it's a 2 or an 8. Is it a 3860 or 3260? Because there's a big difference there. That's a... What is that? Look, the LEDs are out a little bit. Is it 3260 or 3860? Oh, nice. It's the wrong way round. That's the 32. Right, that's, she, she's got it in the office down there as well. She's got it in the office. Let's see what the lady in the office says. Oh god, it was 3860. 200 kg over. Oh my god, we're gonna have to go and deal with this now. <laughs> so, C1, get that sorted possibly. Yeah. If if we have to do it, I'll go and do it. If we have to do it, I've done the medical and the practical, uh, not the practical, the test. And the hazard awareness. The multiple so. choice it was, yeah. wasn't it? You did. Yeah. So you've still got to do the hazard awareness. And the test. And then the actual practical yeah, side of it. Yeah. But um, we're, we're thinking we're going to stay in the UK until the end of January and go abroad from the first week in February. And the reason we're going to do that is there's a few reasons, isn't there? Well, we're going to the lakes with Rebecca's sister yeah, we're Tuesday. Yeah, we've got that. And then we've got to do with my daughter with another motor home, full time person up in Morecambe. No, she's not full time. No. She lives in a, they live in a house, but they're home educating and mm. Isabella made friends with her at the home educating festival. So she's, it's her birthday, so she's having a sleepover in more, in Kendall and then 
Um, sorry, I've got a little face here Mutt. missing out. Benji. Two mutts. Feels like he's missing Two out. Two in the van as well. Um, <laughs> Running games. Um, where we, what we're doing? What we're saying? Yeah, we're gonna go up to Kendall. Oh yeah, we've got Kendall. We've got that, and then we've got. Um, in the start of December, we're meeting my f uni friends, aren't oh, we? Yeah, for a shindig down south, yeah. In Surrey, and then somewhere. we've got Christmas. We'll be here before we know it, no doubt. Yeah. Then we've got the Home Educating Festival in Wales. Wales. It's third week in oh, mark it, third week in January. So then the plan is to go after that, and also we've applied for your Irish passport. Mm. So that is another reason why we're hanging around because we're hoping that that yeah. so will get around the Shenzhen rules and. Yeah, well, that will hopefully come. Make our border crossings a bit easier. Before we go, apparently, if you're an Irish yeah, passport so, holder. Yeah, so that was the, there. Are reasons for hanging around England, but I am nervous about that because I feel like the kids are going to be fed up because the weather's going to be bad, um, and also it's it's England and trying to find park ups. Well, <laughs> we can go into Scotland. We did talk about going into Scotland a bit and a bit into. Ireland, because we did, we've been looking at properties for ages in Southern Ireland, potentially buy and sort of make up. Uh, but we can't you know, go to Ireland, can we? Because we have to have the annual health certificate. Not yet. And we're not doing that and spending that money just for the sake of no. a few days, because we're going to obviously mm. get and the, the dog, passport, aren't we? This dog. Oh, she's got to be spayed. Uh, it's going to be a cone head in, uh, in a November. Week. week too. We're having, getting spayed, so... Mm. There's, it's amazing how many sort of little bits of admin and restrictions, and we're, we've basically got a book at the minute, like a, an A4 zip folder. So everything that we're potentially going to need for border crossings is, is in that. And we've learned a lot off YouTube, off other, other people that we follow, basically. I think it's taken us longer than we thought to yeah. do the admin to do with m moving out of a house and mm. then the packing and unpacking and the downsizing. It's been a, a lot. A lot. More. Everyone says. Are you not gone yet? And I, no, I don't think anybody understands how much logistics and admins involved prior to actually just rolling off. But it did feel starting. nice to cancel the direct debit yeah, for the gosh. mortgage <laughs> and the gas and electric and yeah. all those other things. And all my direct debits. Yeah. Debits. So that's been, there's been pluses, but it's just felt really overwhelming at times with you know, all the yeah. other bits. And that sounds silly because we've been waiting for this for so yeah. long. Really excited. And then now it's here. It's a bit like an anticlimax, I think. You don't feel like that, do you? But I feel a bit happy. like yeah. because we're not rolling, we we're not going. We're not going and boxing. That feels like it's been my life for the past couple of weeks. Is packing, boxing, organising, tip runs, administration, all before we get rolling. That's what's going to be great for Tuesday next week, and we're going to go up to the Lake District, and it'll feel it's our first trip in this nice mm -hmm. van, um, you know, and it's going to be it'll be great. It'll be yeah. great. One good. day at a time. It's going to be good to get away. But yeah, just that's, today. that's just where we're up to now, isn't it? We're in the motorhome. We're in the new one. The old one's been sold. Mm. House we're is out, gone. The house is gone. The motorbikes have gone. And then Band we're just gone. starting on the actual life of being on the road. But mm. we're going to be starting that in the UK before we leave to Europe mm. in the beginning of February. It'll be probably, won't it? Thanks and then we won't be coming back, hopefully, to the UK for about a year. Yeah. Because we've got a lot to see and do. And, float. and, and float if we've back. got the Irish passport, that will make things a lot easier for us okay. to do that. Otherwise, if it's for whatever reason it doesn't come or, or anything mm. goes wrong, we'll just have to abide by the changing rules, Portugal, won't we? Don't we as well. We've seen a lot of properties yeah. in Portugal. Yeah, we we'll want to have a look at Portugal. Sale, but... France for sale. There's, there's, we're just going to float and visit, and hopefully we're going to bump into other people on the road. You know that we've bumped into a lot of the people that have been watching for the past two years on YouTube, and it's, it's just been great to have chinwags and chats with them. Mm. And they said, "Oh, when you get rolling, you know, come look us up, come see us." And uh, I think we're just going to be a big visiting mission. So that's yeah. so that's about it, really, for this one, isn't it? And then we're gonna yeah. gonna do another video next week of From the, the Lake lights. District. Yeah. And um, hopefully, I'll have my DJI. And we're staying at Waterside Waterside House. We stayed there before, mm. and it's right on the Lake Hills <coughs> Water. And we've got a kayak, and I'm hoping to do some swimming, Ooh, some breathing, yeah. and kayak on there and stuff like that. So yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll put that on next time, won't we? And then... I'll, I'll be stood on the bank filming, watching mm. Beck swim in a bikini, so she says. Hmm? Bikini? Hmm. Are you actually joking? No. In the lakes in November. <laughs> but one, I won't put a bikini on in the Lake District. And then two, as if. On you, no, sorry. You're not going to see any of those types of videos on this channel. If me in my bikini, I'm really sorry. It's not happening.
Yeah, well, it's going to be a good... I feel good. I feel okay. uh, positive. It's going to be a... I mean, the, the adventure's going to start. Yeah, so, so we just it was just an update, really, of everything that's gone on, because we haven't put anything on for ages, because it's just been mm. a lot going on. But we are on track. We've not... Mm. Nothing's gone awry, has it? It's all gone mm. to plan. So, yeah, we yeah. will hopefully be putting more stuff on as we're travelling now, won't we? Yeah. yeah. Speak to you all from the Lake District <laughs> next week. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Bye now.